We're back. It's day four of Home Ec Week on PTL. Yeah, we're taking turns every day this week sharing ways to make our household chores easier. Learning hacks for budgeting, cooking, cleaning, and sewing. It's amazing how much you forget since you learned all those skills back in the day. It's true, know? but it, they say it's like riding a bike, right? That's what they say. Well, we'll see. Because today we are focusing on sewing, and sewing has certainly become a growing trend yeah. in the pandemic. Sewing machine sales are way up for both men and women, and it seems more people are either mending or creating their own clothes, getting creative. So David and I want to learn how to sew, because it's been a while since my high school home ec class. And that's why we're calling in a pro to help us get started. Yeah, so we want to welcome Donna Iker of So Special. That's a shop in Uniontown that sells everything you need for sewing, for quilting, and offers lessons as well. So thank you so much, Donna, for taking us on as uh, students. We appreciate it. Well, it's my pleasure, David. Thank you and Heather for inviting me. And we have to first off, before we get to our lesson, thank you for our lovely little mug rug for our coffee cups or tea. They're so special. We really thank you for them. This is so cool. And you, you even have our names on each one and they're fantastic. Thank you, Donna. Well, you are welcome. You're welcome. Well, tell us about your store first, the store in Uniontown uh, and what you offer there. Well, um, we have a new location that we just moved to two years ago, so we have more room and we have a larger dedicated classroom. So we sell Who's Front of Viking, Foff and Singer sewing machines. My husband is the repair technician and he is on site, so we can service your machines on site. We sell lots of fabric patterns, um, thread, embroidery. Uh, machines, embroidery designs, the AccuQuilt, we're a premier dealer for the AccuQuilt cutting system. And um, we just have lots of fun. We like to think of our store as a place for edutainment, which means you get educated and entertained at the same time. Very cool. So, um, and yeah, we just really, we enjoy our so special family of customers and employees. I have to give a shout out to them. I have great employees that help me to be able to offer all of this to our wonderful customers. And Donna, not only that, but you have a different family too at your bed and breakfast, Seems Like Home, S-E-A-M-S, -S, which is so cute. Clever, yeah. Uh, like a quilter's retreat, really. It is, it is a quilter's retreat. And we do have lots of groups who come um, and they'll spend the weekend oh, how or however looks. many days they want. And they they sew and or quilt, or we have scrapbooking groups too that come. So a lot of our quilters, um, they call it the quilting spa. We have good food and we have good um, lighting and seating and outdoor areas to get some fresh air and take a little break. And we actually, later in the spring, early summer, we will be debuting our um, first cookbook because so many people oh. have requested menus um, and the recipes for the menus that we serve. So um, our first cookbook will be coming out a little later this year. And we're also close to the Great Allegheny Passage bike trail, which a lot of people don't realize that. So we are a quilt retreat, but we're also a bed and breakfast too. It's not, you don't have to quilt to come stay with us. Very nice. You can nice. be cycling on the trail, visiting falling water, right. what, yeah. whatever. Hey, uh, Adana, we're gonna get started here. Um, we don't have a lot of time, which good luck. Uh, <laughs> you you right. said there's actually a trick to cutting the thread to start with. There is. So what a lot of people don't realize is when you take it off the spool, if you cut it with the blunt end straight across, if you think of a thick rope and you were cutting it straight across, all of those fibers are gonna be hard to push through the eye of a needle. But if you cut the thread at an angle, okay, then it will go through the eye of the needle much easier. Okay. Good. Done tip. and done. All right. Okay. I'm. I, now I, I just have to try to pick up the needle. I think I got mine, and <laughs> I you can't, can't even, even get pick the, up needle. the needle. All right, Donna. Okay, so I I got right. uh, the thread through the little hole through Yay! the eye. Good job, Heather. Success. Now what? Yay. Wait, okay. wait, 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 I'm not there. So now once you've gotten it through, I'm moving past David, uh, <laughs> well, you, we you need tie to... this end, right? Yes, we'll need to knot it, and I'll show you a little trick for that. Heather, or David, did you get yours? I did, because you gave me one of the self-threading needles, so I just pressed it oh. down from the top, and I was able to do it. So thank you, Donna. Okay. Very clever. I'm glad you knew how that worked. Okay, so once, there's a lot of different ways to do a knot, but what I do, is I put the thread 
like about a half of an inch in front of the needle um, across there and I hold it and then I just wrap it around the top of my needle one, two, three times, grab a hold of that knot and slide it all the way down to the bottom and you've got a nice little knot there. Okay, I have a knot. I didn't quite, I, I didn't quite do it. I needed, I needed help okay. seeing what I was doing. <laughs> but um, okay. I have the knot, so I'm ready to go. So what's the next step? Okay, so the next step, you have a piece of fabric there. We do. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just do a little running stitch today. So you wanna put your, um, put your um, needle through your fabric with your uh, knot on the wrong side so we don't see the knot. Okay. And oh. then. <laughs> Have you I think I maybe screwed that up already, Donna, but we're gonna keep moving. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll keep moving. So then you just go in and out. We're gonna do a running stitch, but what we call a basting stitch, which are bigger stitches for when you need to gather something. So you can just take some bigger stitches. You don't have to worry about them being real tiny. Okay. And you just pull it in and out, you just work it in and out of the, of your fabric. I like this. This is easier than sewing a button on. It, it is actually. <laughs> I mean, for me at least. So, you know, my heart, the hard part for me is once you've completed this and let's say you've actually been able to do it right because normally I can't, right. how do you actually close the, the, how do you tie it off? So close how to the fabric so that it doesn't come loose. Well, you want to just go to the underside Okay. And then you'll want to take just a couple of little stitches, uh, catch just a thread or two right over top of where the needle came through. Just catch a thread or two. And then, I don't know if you can see this or not. So I've just caught a little thread or two. Uh -huh. And then when I push that through, I'm going to put my needle up through the, up through the thread, the loop of the thread and pull it. And that will knot it off. Oh. All right. Donna, thank you so much for, I, I want to keep sewing, but we are out of time right now. <laughs> Please leave your glasses on. Thank, no, <laughs> put them back on. All right. Thank you, Donna. We appreciate the lesson. Thanks for talking with oh, us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. And I, right. I'm just thinking, my mother-in-law would love that retreat. She would love it. Oh, the quilters retreat. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I'm so glad we met her.